Hi everybody, and uh, this is Joel here in New Orleans saying hello to you and thanking you for taking on this volunteer project of interviewing our esteemed retired cantors in your region. Uh, what I want to do in this YouTube video is show you what you're going to be getting in this package and just how to hook it up. Now, of course, you may already know how to hook up all this equipment, and therefore you could probably just click this YouTube video off and go do something else a little more interesting. Anyways, here it is. You are going to get a uh, package, and you're going to get a camera bag that looks like this. It'll be exactly like this. And in this camera bag and box will be all sorts of stuff, and I wanted to show you that. First off, you're going to have your tripod, and you are going to have a microphone, the power supply for the camera, a tape, of course, the camera itself, and this unit here, which uh, will allow you to hook up the microphone. And I'm just going to show you how to hook everything up so it makes it real easy for you. Uh, first off, you will see behind the camera, right here, a little um, kind of plug-in thing. Um, plug-in thing, that's good. It says in very small print, it says DC in, and that's where you will plug in the uh, power supply. You do not need the battery for this unit at all. You really don't. Uh, you can just take that out. It's not a, because you shouldn't be running on battery anyway. Uh, you should just plug it into uh, whatever uh, plug you can get. You may, you'll probably need an extension cord for this wherever you plug this in. Putting the tape in is very easy. Uh, you see the camera right here. It's almost done manually. What you do is this uh, top clip here, you just push it in, slide it in, bring this out, and this housing unit will pop out, stick the tape in, press in, and that's it. Let the unit slide in by itself, close it, you're good to go. Do that first, plug the, put the tape in. Next, you have this uh, mic frame unit. You will see, um, you will be plugging it at the bottom of the tripod hole. You have two holes here. One is kind of a guide hole. The other one has the uh, screw there. So all you have to do is just screw it in like this. I feel like I'm in a cooking show. And you tighten it up like that. So you can put it on your tripod. Now we're pretending that this is hooked up your power supply. Here's your tripod heavy-duty tripod, as you can see. And see how well that goes in? Now, it really doesn't matter if you, uh, if this thing is not aligned correctly with how you want to do it. Basically, you just have to get the camera aimed toward the gentleman or lady you are interviewing. Um, now, the microphone has an on-off switch. There is a uh, battery that needs to be put in here. The battery will be in here. Um, I will put in some extra AAA batteries just in case the battery is dead. So you turn the microphone on and you slide it right up in here. Just uh, poop it right in that slot and aim it right at the gentleman or lady you are interviewing. You open this up right like this and you will see two holes here, one red and one yellow. Uh, the red is for microphone, yellow is AV. You plug it into the red button. Just plug it in like that. This is really quite simple to do. And when you interview your subject, what you need to do is uh, make sure that the person is really not further than six feet away. Uh, any further then it's really it's not going to be helpful both for the microphone and for the video because we really want uh, to see kind of a close-up of the person not an actual close-up but you know sort of like from uh, the waist up would be good now here is something that may be a little tricky with the camera is opening up the lens uh, right in front of here you'll see a slide switch 
and this will open and close the lens. So I see that with it slid down here, it's open. When it slid up, the lens is closed. So obviously you want to slide that open. Over here on this side of the camera where you will see play, off, and camera, you just uh, press in that green button, slide it into camera, and uh, it will go into camera mode. Don't worry about the uh, set time zone and all that kind of stuff. Uh, don't worry about making uh, any video mistakes. In other words, just press this big yellow button behind here and you can start your interview. Uh, and you will adjust this accordingly to the height of the person uh, and uh, so that person is in the frame. Now, once you get started in doing the interview, don't worry about stops and starts because we're going to edit this. Uh, so if, there's, uh, if the person you're interviewing uh, wants to say, you know, I'd like to answer that question again, by all means, go ahead, start the question again, and we'll edit what shouldn't be in there. Very easy. Um, you do not have to be in the camera while you're interviewing. This is not a two-camera interview. It's a one-camera so you will have your sheet of questions which are in your packet, of course, of what you're supposed to ask the canter. Uh, if there's another question you want to ask, you know, you're not limited to that, but be sure to try to get the questions that are in the packet. Uh, and don't worry about the length of the interview. We have the capacity, again, for editing. Um, when you, you just do everything backwards when you're ready to disassemble and finish the interview, uh, turning pressing the yellow button for stop. Uh, you can take the um, uh, film out. Again, just slide the housing unit. It'll pop up by itself. Take it out. And then what I'm going to have you do is, I'm going to have you, this is the scary part, of course, mail me this uh, tape uh, to the address that will be in the sheets. You're going to mail it right to my temple, Temple Sinai. Uh, here in New Orleans, where today it's sunny and 72 degrees. I hope it's nice where it is for you. And that's about it. I figured a YouTube video might, uh, picture is worth a thousand words. If you have any questions at all, give me a call, and happy to help and assist you uh, to make this interview a big success. Again, thank you for volunteering and uh, helping make this Vatican, Vatican project, geez, I can't even say the word, the Vatican Project. Try to say that three times fast. A grand success for the ACC. Thank you, and see your video at some time later.